If you sit on your motorcycle at the Texas-Louisiana border and just follow I-10 east all the way to you hit Mississippi, the distance is 255 miles. If you do the same distance along the Louisiana shoreline in a little pirogue, that's a little flat bottom boat that's typical of the Louisiana marshes, then the distance is 7,721 miles if you follow every little creek and every little bayou. Louisiana has the third longest coastline in the United States, only beaten by Florida and of course Alaska. In this video I'm taking a trip from the capital in Louisiana, Baton Rouge, to the coast of Louisiana. And as with most things in Louisiana, the coast is also at the outer edge of statistics. In the background is the Louisiana state capital, it's the tallest state capital in the United States and it was finished in 1931 under the reign of Huey P. Long, the pretty famous governor of Louisiana, who was later shot in the capital and died two days later from the wounds. The building was finished in the crazy short time of just 14 months. From more or less downtown Baton Rouge, you can drive across the Mississippi River on the steel bridge built in 1968. And if Louisiana folklore is correct, they built it low in order to hinder big ship to go further north than Baton Rouge in order to gain more traffic at the local port. The bridge is part of the I-10 East-West Corridor and it's a big choking point. And as long as I lived in the deep south, they've been talking about either widening the existing bridge or building a new one. But here in the deep south, when it comes to road, roads and improving the roads, you have to generate tax in order to do so. And here in the deep south, the word tax is equal, equal to the word communism. So the chance of the roads becoming better is closer to zero than anything. The first destination is Morgan City and then go west along the coast. I could go straight west from Baton Rouge, hit Lafayette and then go south. And that would be faster, but I don't really enjoy riding on the interstate with a motorcycle. Because the whole point of having a motorcycle is to enjoy the scenery and be able to stop when you feel like it. Just as when I saw shrimp boats at a dock. Going south, you pass through a string of pearls or little towns many of them with Indian or French names used, such as Plaquemine and Pierre Port. The latter, being a little town where still a third of the population speak, still speak French. It is hard to fathom how flat Louisiana really is because you're seeing all the tall trees that gives it a perception of more depth than it really has. But if you run or if you ride a bicycle, over this longer distances, you will notice it. All of southern Louisiana is built up from silt, which has been deposited by the Mississippi River all the way from the border from Texas to the border of Mississippi. Silt is a fine grained material somewhere between sand and clay. From 1885, man started taming the Mississippi River by speeding up the flow of the water. Because the faster the river flows, the less time it has to deposit silt. And then man minimized sandbanks south of New Orleans, so the ships wouldn't have to wait in order to be able to deposit or pick up goods at the port of New Orleans. Originally, the Mississippi River would wiggle back and forth like a huge snake, just depositing silt wherever it found the least resistance, all the way from the west to the east. One of the reasons why the coast of Louisiana is sinking is that the silt is compressing. So, unless you bring in new silt, the land will get lower and lower. The Mississippi River drains 40% of the contiguous United States. That's all the states touching each other. So in other words, Alaska and Hawaii, they are excluded. All this water and silt gets funneled through the state of Louisiana. And 
Because the river flows very slowly, the silt used to build up new land and maintain existing land. 40,000 structures catch most 70% of the river silt upstream. The remaining silt coming down to the Mississippi River is mostly shot straight out into the deep Gulf of Mexico. This satellite image from NASA shows the tan plumes of river silt. Roughly 7.5% is allowed to build new land through a little side river, the Atchafalaya. Envision yourself accelerating away from a stoplight at an even acceleration. At 100 miles, 160 kilometers an hour, blinking blue lights makes you start deceleration. As you're straddling your motorcycle on the side of the road, the police officer asks you, Sir, were you aware that you are going at 100 miles per hour and still accelerating? You answer him, Sir, from I started to I ended acceleration, my average speed was 50 miles per hour. This is an analogy to the sea level rise happening at the coast of Louisiana. The number you most see is a fixed number, usually 3.2 to 3.4 mm per year. But this is an average number that is usually based on 15 to 25 years of data, ending up around 2012-2014. The sea level rise is still accelerating, and if you are very diligent and use a more imaginative search string, you will find a newer number of 4.8 mm per year, also an average, this over 10 years ending in 2019, and based on NASA's satellite data. Just remember, 4.8 mm per year is not a static number, but an average number that is still accelerating year by year. The reason I mention this number is that the coast of Louisiana is the fastest disappearing coastline on the planet. And sea level rise is just one of many factors making the coastline vanish. A 2017 study using measurement from 274 sites across the coast of Louisiana finds that the average subsidence, that is the sinking of the land, is an average of 9.1 millimeters per year. Adding on sea level rise, pollution, invasive species, very little replenishing silt, saltwater intrusions, storms and hurricanes, and in addition to the subsidence, the picture gets pretty grim. In some areas along the coast, you have a re relative sea level rise, that is the sinking of the land and the rising of the water, of about one inch. And in super flat areas like the coast of Louisiana, for every one unit vertical rise you have, you have 300 units of horizontal land loss. That means that the horizontal land loss is actually 300 inches, which is 25 feet. So the average land loss along the coast of Louisiana is at least 12 and a half feet per year, and that is absolutely noticeable. Louisiana has 3,160 miles of levees, and a levee is just a natural or a man-made little ridge that's built up to hinder water to flow from one area to another. That is roughly the distance from New Orleans to Vancouver on the west coast of Canada. On the right hand side you can see a typical levee, but in this case it's topped up, topped up with a steel barricade, and that is not common. After hitting Morgan City, US Route 90 is picked up in order to head straight west. Just as on the interstates, you have large pieces with higher speed limits, but on these secondary federal roads, there's way, way less traffic. US 90 is swapped into LA 14 and then south onto LA 82. Five different tropical systems hit Louisiana in 2020. Four of those were hurricanes. So along the LA 82, you see a lot of dead vegetation. That is stormwater surges that hit the coast and 
killed off a lot of vegetation because of salt water intrusion. When you stop along the many endless canals and bayous, you will of course see an alligator or more. All new buildings and many of the older structures, they have been elevated off the ground in order to minimize damage from storm surges. Or such as this raised up school in Cameron Parish. Yes, Louisiana does not have counties, and Louisiana has parishes. In downtown Baton Rouge, the state of Louisiana has a 90 by 120 feet, that's 10,800 square feet, big model, showing the lower part of the Mississippi River Delta. And here they model what they can do in order to improve the wetland areas. I'm ending with a picture from Holly Beach, that's one of the prettier places for me along the coast of Louisiana. Because I'm from the far north of Europe and warm water and white beaches will always be exotic. The sinking delta is a parallel to the road system in Louisiana. The solution is easy, but the implementation is very, very hard. On the roads, Pay more taxes, get better roads, but as a politician, you will never ever get elected on such a platform. For the vanishing delta, let more silt laden water flow through the areas and into the gulf, but then the fresh water might damage areas where fish, shrimp, oyster, etc. are growing. Also, silt buildup at the bottom of the Mississippi River will hinder ship traffic. So, in other words, Typical in the state of Louisiana, everything is status quo. Thanks for watching. Have a good ride. Please subscribe. More videos to follow.